so good morning, everyone. So let me give you uh, some hint on uh, assignment one. Actually, I will get to show you all the uh, programs on the uh, desktop. So uh, one way to do that is you uh, look at this video and then uh, coding by yourself. Another one is to reference the video and coding together. Uh, so uh, either way, you can you can do this either way. But uh, do this assignment is uh, help you to understand the very basic uh, programming in Python and reading the program. So uh, this part of the uh, uh, code, I put, put it in a web class. So what you need to do is just go to the web class, copy the code and uh, put it to the cell. Uh, and uh, if you don't have code, you can plot the code. We copy the code and uh, put to the side and run uh, just like this. So it's the same as this one. So you can just uh, run to this. This code is helping to uh, amount with the drive, Google Drive, uh, so that uh, you can connect with it. It may uh, cost a little bit because if you can see in this, is here, this area here, a connection, okay. Ask you to uh, code, select your account, drag down and permit. So everything is permit and uh, then they will want it to uh, drive. And then uh, you run this code to uh, just uh, go to the direction of your, your folder. So just uh, check it here. So now show it only show the sample data here. You can go up, go up and go to the drive, my drive. And uh, here is uh, my driver here. So you can see the uh, contents in here. So you can see here we have this uh, this is Google Drive uh, file here, and uh, uh, you can see that only this file is here, so it's correct. And uh, I will now uh, using this code for download the earthquake waves. Uh, we will download the earthquake wave. Uh, actually, I shared it in my Google Drive, and uh, using this uh, pass and using this. Uh, using this name, use this uh, ID, uh, so that you can also uh, sharing uh, files like this style, so everybody can uh, download it by code. Uh, sometimes it's even the, that is very, very large. So everything is connected uh, on the cloud. So they will not go to your uh, real drive. So it can be done very fast, even in your, uh, you are in a very poor uh, in internet connection. So another is uh, we try this code. Firstly, we define, we this is the file name. This is the file name, you can see this is the file name. And we use with open uh, mode as read, uh, as a, because we are read only file, as F. So open will return uh, a, a file connector. Uh, so I will go to that, uh, uh, this is a text IO wrapper. Uh, so you can uh, using this to read data. And I use read data and uh, then I use dot split because uh, read, read data will give you a whole string of the data. And uh, you split it, you will split uh, to uh, smart strings. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see what's, what's gonna happen if we, we don't, if we don't uh, split it. So uh, let's see, let's see what we don't do, split. So we do the read and we print data to see uh, what is inside the file. Uh, sorry. Uh, you can see that uh, there are uh, there are a lot of data have been read it into the uh, your, your uh, program, but it is a whole uh, single string, it's a whole single string. Uh, you can see in the head, they have uh, some uh, comments, right? But they are all split by, uh, uh, by the uh, space. So if I add uh, split, they are split. Uh, there's uh, strings uh, to uh, separated, uh, separated strings. Uh, so it becomes a list. So right now, data is a list. Data right now is a list of, of thirty. 1,049 items. Uh, so here is a uh, orange you know, time, something, something. But what we need is, firstly, we need the sampling frequency, which is 100 hertz, right? Uh, sampling frequency, 
sampling frequency is 100 hertz. So we need this. So we read this data uh, uh, and the split with hertz. Then the first one was 100, the other one, uh, and the other one is, is nothing. So we take this one and change them to integer. So this operation is a little bit complicated, but finally we can get the sampling frequency. That's right. Finally, you can see that we can get the sampling frequency. You can see uh, data 30 is frequency. So data 31 is uh, uh, 100 hertz, but we split hertz, uh, take, take zero, then print FS, this is uh, 100 hertz. And then, uh, then we take a uh, familiar, uh, same, by the same way, we, we take the, uh, uh, we, we take the uh, scale factor. Uh, so the scale factor is, uh, uh, so is changing uh, the digital signal to acceleration signal. So we, we uh, split them uh, by uh, gal dash line, then it will be comes the two numbers they have. Then you can divide them uh, to uh, two numbers so that you can print. Uh, uh, both of them are integer, uh, change from the string. Uh, then you can uh, divided by to them get a factor. And then uh, uh, finally, uh, 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 this way is we uh, getting this kind of information by the uh, number of the data. Uh, another way is using keyword. Uh, so we get all the data and then we have three keyword. One is frequency, which is before the frequency 100 hertz. And the other is factor, the other is memo. So the after factor, we take the scale factor. And the after memo, we take the data. Uh, so we are not taking the data yet, uh, but uh, we can take uh, uh, using the for loop uh, to find the data. <coughs> so we can take string as all data inside data. And uh, oh, take, we and then uh, we firstly check, uh, it, check the data one by one. If the last data was uh, uh, SN, it means the last data we, we take here. In the last, we take SN equals S. So uh, in the beginning, SN is uh, nothing. SN, in the beginning, SN is nothing, empty. So if empty, uh, if SN is equals to uh, key one, then you, we can split them and take the frequency. If the key two, we can uh, take the sampling frequency. And if the key three, because we're gonna take the next data next of the key. And uh, on the key three, then we uh, make star equals true. So if star equals true, then we uh, bring this uh, data to an integer as multiple scale factor, make them to become uh, acceleration. And then uh, append wave, wave is starting with empty at least, and uh, they will stack it one by one until uh, finish all the data and then we give the SN to S so they can they can uh, uh, check it one by one but here is only check the start or not the start we uh, in the beginning we, we, we start false so they will not uh, append anything here until we can get the real data okay so if we uh, read the data uh, like this we can get uh, uh, data like this and uh, and we can also uh, write uh, this in uh, uh, put put the data we we already get and uh, same uh, file name and uh, save them to uh, uh, save them to a file uh, which is uh, firstly we open the file uh, with mode of write and uh, write the code firstly we should have the first line the times and uh, waveforms and then we uh, stock the time and uh, waves one by one. How did we make time? So uh, firstly, we use MP arrange, and uh, so that be, becomes uh, the length of the waves, and then we uh, save them to uh, uh, divided by them by uh, frequency. So by the range, they will start a, a single dimension, uh, one to 30,000 uh, 30, uh, uh, data, uh, uh, one to, uh, zero to uh, 29,000. 99, uh, the, so 3,000 data, and by divided by one, so you form 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and until uh, 300. 
So uh, then we uh, we use the time and uh, the wave and save them. I use a 6.2, which means totally six digit space and uh, two after the point. Then we save them uh, like this. Uh, so this is the saving part. And another is uh, to plot the part, to, uh, to plot the wave. So uh, we, we can plot the wave uh, by uh, import here. Uh, and uh, uh, using this to create a time. And we can uh, plot the wave directly. Oh, we didn't uh, do this yet. I think we didn't read this. Yeah, we already read it. Uh, NP not defined. Uh, wait a moment. Where did we import NP? Oh, we didn't import NP up here. We, we should import it here. Okay, so uh, if you can see that uh, after we do this, you will save uh, example data. Uh, what is, what should look like, like this. Uh, see this space? This space, this is why uh, they have space is because we save them use a 6.2, the two digit after the, the point, and they keep the six lengths of the data. So you can see very beautifully around here. And uh, they are all changed to Gal unit. And uh, so then we can plot data. We can see the data is very long, but uh, actually data we use is only in this part from here until here will be enough. So we only take uh, from uh, 15 seconds to 45 seconds. The first uh, biggest wave will be fine. So if we cut the data, we can, we can find out that data are looking like this. So please do do this before you save them to files. So how to do the assignment one? So firstly, you need to import uh, all the library and uh, you make it should make a function of read uh, so here, my example is reading reading data uh, by the uh, uh, by the keys. So if you uh, need to, uh, you can use the data directly from number, but uh, you need to don't forget to uh, don't forget to uh, uh, no count. So the the real uh, number of the data uh, to to get the data. We will not find the example here, I give them. So if you don't do this, you need to code in here. Again, you need to code in here to get data or the, the vibration data and, and divide them to the uh, string like we did here. Okay, like we did it here. Like we did here. Uh, somehow you need to do this. So I will not show you this example, but I just uh, show you the example that you use keys. And uh, and then uh, you need to get an output uh, wave name, uh, define output wave, and you can uh, define and then the plot. So uh, here is a, just an example of uh, uh, just an example of uh, what you need to do here. Uh, uh, but uh, you can uh, put more effort on uh, to make the data look better. You can you can also uh, save some something else. And uh, uh, in, in the plot, so um, you can also add title and uh, as a, 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 a X level and Y level and others. But once you define it, it you can uh, always use them. Uh, it's a, a beautiful print. print. So here you use the color equals K, which is color is called black to so make the figure looks better. Uh, then you have a, a block that uh, define all the file names you need and the, the code, the function and to use them. And don't forget to select the wave like this. And uh, then you can get a T and get your all the uh, data and plot them out uh, and output the file. So I hope you can do things like this so that I think a plot is in very nice style. And then uh, please write some comments here. And uh, do realize that I'm using the, I'm using the, uh, some, something like this, style like this, so that to split the data. So please do use uh, 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 make the make the, the program like look like this. That is very easy to see what is happening there. Okay, so the the finished uh, homework should like this. But uh, please try to uh, write code in your style. Okay, thank you very much. That is all for today.